What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Discovering Nicole. That would be me, Nicole. And I'm so glad to have all of you guys here. There's so many new faces that I'm seeing in the comment section. And I just want you guys to know, thank you for being here. A lot of you guys have come from my Diabetes Ozempic Weight Loss Journey videos. And I just want to welcome all of you guys that are just now tuning in or just finding me. I am the kind of style of, of YouTuber or content creator I am. I'm just really off the cuff. I come on here, I'll go live, I'll make a video, I'll upload it same day because this is like my personal diary. Um, I use the internet as a virtual diary to share what I'm going through and also to get support. I'm also a drug addict in recovery. I've been sober for eight years, eight, July, August, September, October, November, like almost eight and a half years. <clears throat> and, um, after getting sober in 2015, I started to struggle um, about two to three years in my sobriety with um, really bad binge eating disorder. Now, I had always struggled with it, but it got really bad when I got sober. And I would sometimes eat a four course meal at night, you know, just like copious amounts of calories. I also want to int introduce you guys to. Oh, there he is. Paquito. That's my dog, Paco. He's you, Paco the Sober Dog. He's my co-host. And then we have a new co-host now. Rocco. Rocky Rocco. We're going to call him Rocky, I think. Because Rocco rhymes with Paco too much. This is Rocky. And he is our new uh, puppy dog. He just got done eating. So his little face got a little stuff on his little face. You look like a little munchkin. Mm. Say hi to everybody. So, he's our new um, Maltese Chihuahua mix. Um, here's a little. He's sitting in my lap. If y'all wanted to see. So, I wanted to come on here. I wanted to share with you guys how much this fucking medication, Ozempic, has changed my life in just five days. In five days. Are y'all ready? Let's get into it. Before anybody says anything, I was diagnosed with diabetes. I had an A1C of 11. So, it's, I'm in a serious position right now. I have a very high A1C. I need to get this shit down. I'm in a bad spot with my health. And I did not realize how bad I had gotten myself. For the last four or five years, I had just been eating like I was a teenager, eating candies and um, Cokes and Zuzus and Wham Whams and about 35 days ago, 36 days ago, I, my dad checked my blood sugar just because he was curious and it was 499. He freaked out, that freaked me out and I went and I got myself checked out. Anyways, it took about a month to figure everything out because I had to make multiple appointments and all kinds of different stuff, labs, everything. And that's when I found out just a week ago that I have diabetes. So my doctor prescribed me Ozen Ozempic and I'm on 0.25 of Ozempic. I take it once a week, every Thursday. And so in the five days that I have been on this medication, because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days that I've been on this medication, it has drastically, drastically changed my eating habits. Normally, when I wake up in the morning, I have to, like, hold myself back from eating too early. Normally, I'll wake up in the morning, I will take my son to school, and I used to eat a sausage bi biscuit and drink a Dr. Pepper with him every morning on the way to school. But I changed that 35 days ago, and I stopped doing that, and I started eating healthy. So... What I changed to was I would come home, I would go walk with Kathy for about an hour and a half, hour and 10 minutes, and then I would come home and then I would prepare something to eat. And usually it would be like 9.30, 10 o'clock um, around then. And so I would just basically fix some soup, just whatever I want. I'm not really big on like it has it doesn't have to be breakfast food, but I would fix something that was in my calories and <clears throat> eat that. This medication in five days has totally shut off the food noise in my head. 
What do I mean by that? I mean, normally I couldn't wait to eat. Like, I love preparing my food. It's like a, a labor of love. It's like a passion for me. Like, I love food. I love the way food tastes. I love preparing food for my loved ones. Everything. And so, I'm not... I'm not thinking about how I need to prepare my next meal or what is my next meal going to be. I'm not getting up in the middle of the night for five days in a row. I have not woke up in the middle of the night and binged. <sighs> I don't think you guys understand. Unless you have struggled with the obsession food obsession, food um, intake problems, then you will not understand why this is such a big deal. Last night I woke up three or four times because I'm taking care of a newborn puppy, a five week old puppy. So I'm like a, a, I'm like a new mom again. And I didn't go to the refrigerator. I didn't go to eat anything. I just now, what time is it? 1230. Had a bowl of soup. Hadn't eaten all day. All morning. Just had a bowl of soup for breakfast. Basically lunch. Um, because I'm not obsessively thinking about eating food all day long. This is really changing my life. Drastically. Drastically. Um... I'm nauseous like I have like a faint nausea feeling like right now but it's not anything that like I'm gonna be vomiting or like I, it's something I can handle I am um, my stomach was a little upset this morning when I woke up and I've had that yesterday I didn't have it today I woke up and I was nauseous I had it the day before yesterday I had it though and I was nauseous. So like two out of the five days I've been nauseous. I think it was Saturday morning I threw up from the nausea. But so far it's not anything that I can't handle. I'm about to text my doctor and see if he can call some Zofran in. Um, just to help me out. But. I don't think you guys understand. And I have a little bit more burps than normal, but they're not sulfury. I've heard of sulfur burps. Like I'm not like that. I'm not experiencing that yet. They're just regular burps. Um, they don't smell weird or anything like that, like sulfur or anything like that. I've heard of that though. Um, but this is, this is dramatic. Like I haven't been waking up in the middle of the night to go eat, which is huge. I will tell you this, the headaches I'm experiencing are next level. They're bad. They're bad headaches. And I'm a, I'm a headache connoisseur. Like, I have migraines regularly. Like, that's something I've struggled with all my life since I was a little, little girl. And um, these headaches are pretty strong. They last hours. Um, what I have noticed is I'm learning that I get the headaches because I eat something that doesn't go with, that's not good. Like, last night I had a piece of barbecue chicken pizza. Shouldn't have had that gave me a horrible headache. So, um, I'm learning like what foods are, you know, better for me. I know that I knew that barbecue chicken pizza wasn't a, like a good choice of food, but like that's what we were having and I wanted a slice and I wasn't going to deprive myself of a damn slice of pizza. You know, I should have had my salmon and veggies or my chicken and veggies or my beef and veggies because that's what I've been having. And when I have my beef and veggies or my salmon and veggies or my chicken and veggies or my pork and veggies, I don't get the headaches after I eat that. But um, this is like seriously helping me so much already and I just can't be more grateful. Like I'm so looking forward to seeing how this journey pans out and we're only on day five, day five, you guys. And so, um, just say a little prayer for me. If you're somebody who is struggling with diabetes and your weight and you've been wanting to try Ozempic, make sure you do all the research. That's what, I mean, I have been 
reading and watching videos about Ozempic for months, for months. Um, and so I have been trying to learn how it works and everything. Um, I never thought I was going to have to get on it though, because I really truly didn't think I was going to be diabetic, but that's how bad I was taking care of my body. And I can only blame one person, and that's me. I really got myself into a tough position with my health. And so if you found yourself in the same position, I just want you guys to know that you're not alone. If you're ready to take this battle on and fight with me, let's do it together. Um, we have a new addition to the family to fight with us. He's going to be our little fight and cheerleader. Hi, huh, baby. Hi, huh, Rocky. Isn't he the cutest thing you've ever seen? So last night, he comes and lays down with me, right? He goes right around my neck. This is where he sleeps. See, he sleeps across my neck like he's a like he's a little scarf. So that's why I put him up there, because he likes being underneath my neck. So I just had to tell you guys that, like, drastic change. Drastic change in the way my mind operates around food and drastic change, not binge eating five days in a row. I haven't even thought about binge eating. Like that is a miracle. I have struggled with that for so many freaking years, all my life. As long as I can remember since I was a teenager, I've struggled with binge eating disorder. You know, I had gotten it in check for those 35 days. I would did so good. I binged seven times in those 35 days of the 35 healthy leading days. And that's a miracle. That was me fighting against it every day, fighting it. Okay. I hadn't even had to try since I started the medicine. Hadn't even thought about it. It's like a miracle, dude. It's a miracle.